in the previous um, uh, video we saw how to use inverse transform uh, technique for um, continuous distributions now we take up and we'll see how the same technique can be applied for discrete distributions all discrete distributions um, can be generated using inverse transfer technique uh, via in, in, inverse transform technique either uh, numerically uh, through a table lookup procedure or um, algebraically uh, the final generation scheme being in terms of formula here we discuss uh, with respect to empirical um, distribution uniform distribution that is discrete in nature and geometric distribution which is discrete in nature so let's take an example for the first type of uh, distribution that is empirical empirical uh, distribution coming to this an empirical distribution so we'll take an example here suppose that uh, the number of shipments x which is x is your random variable on the loading dock of um, ihw company is either 0 1 or 2 at the end of the day with the observed relative frequency of occurrences is 0.50 40 it is 0 0.50, 41 it is 0 0.30, 42 it is 0.20. It is nothing but um, with either 0, 1 or 2 uh, at the end of the day with the observed relative frequency, the frequencies are given respectively. Generate the values x uh, to represent the number of shipments on the loading dock at the end of each day. Right? So we need to find at the end of each day. Now, whenever we are taking um, discrete distributions, uh, we have uh, probability mass functions and cumulative distribution function. So, coming to this, so let's identify the probability mass function. The probability mass function is represented with um, P of x, where P stands for probability of with respect to x. Right? So, we have 0, 1, 2. And the frequency occurrence of 0, 1, 2 is given as 0 0.50, 0 0.30, 0 0.20. So the probability of 0 is P of what? X equals to 0 is 0 0.50. Next P of 1 equals to what is the answer? 0 0.30. And P of 2 equals to 0 0.20. So this is what is given from the data. Now, distribution of number of shipments. Okay, after having this um, probability with respect to each of these values, we need to find the cumulative probability. That is the cumulative frequency. Uh, cumulative probability is nothing but once again it is represented by using f of x. So distribution of number of shipment x. So we have x value as 0, 1, 2 because only three values are given. The frequency of occurrences is given 0 0.50, 0 0.30, 0 0.20. Calculate the uh, cumulative uh, frequency. 0 0.50 is the first one. Add 0 0.30 to 0 0.50, we'll get 0 0.80. Add 0 0.80 with 0 0.20, we'll get 0 0.1 as the answer. Now, after this, fine, we need to assign the values that is cumulative distribution function f of x such that x is less than or equal to x is given by. So, this is how the cumulative distribution function is given. Using okay, the cumulative frequency, we are going to have the cumulative distribution function. The cumulative distribution function is written as it is. When the value of x is less than 0, it is 0. When the value of x is in the range 0 and 1, okay, it is 0 0.50. When it is in the range 1 and 2, it is cumulative value. It is 0 0.80. When it is less than or equal to 2 less than or equal to x, it is 1. Okay, so based on this um, cumulative frequency, we are going to define the CDF. The CDF is generated as it is. When x is less than 0, it is 0. When the x value is in the range 0 less than or equal to x less than x, it is 0 0.50. When it is 1 less than or equal to x less than 2, it is 0 0.80. When it is 2 less than or equal to x, it is 1. Right? Now, using this cumulative distribution function, we need to consider what the random number and generate the random variant that is x. Fine. Now, if I just uh, once again plot this cumulative frequency in the form of graph, your graph will be similar to this 0, 1, 2, 3. Fine. For 0, it is now it is 0 0.5, and uh, for 1, uh, for 1, it is um, 
uh, one zero point five plus how much for one it is zero point eight zero somewhere here and for uh, two for two it is zero point that is one so it is here so once again you will get what so, uh, the graph similar to this so consider some random number for this example we are going to consider the random number that is r1 which is equal to 0 0.73 fine if i consider 0 0.73 this 0 0.73 lies between 0 0.5 and 0 0.8 correct so i have the range here fine 0 0.5 and 0 0.8 that is 0 0.73 so we need to consider the value now fine so if this lies between 0 0.5 and 0 0.78 so we need to consider the cumulative uh, uh, distribution function with respect to fine f of x i minus 1 because we need to take the interval where actually this random from number belongs to this is the previous value so this f of x i represents 0 0.5 this f of x i represents 0. 8. So f of x0 less than fine, 0 0.73 less than f of x1. Fine. Now, whenever we, we are considering this, we are going to consider this f of xn value. What is the x, x1 value now? It is 1. We are going to consider that as 1. So once again, that since why? Because 1, because r1 equals 0 0.5 less than r1, it is equal to 0 0.73. So this is the r1. r1 r value and this is your r2 value fine so we need to consider 0 0.8 so 0 0.8 value is how much now one so hence we are going to consider x1 value as what x1 value as one for the first random number then set x1 equals to x2 equals to one now the generated scheme is summarized as follows after calculating this that is x1 equals to one the generated scheme is summarized as follows so how you are generalizing now when it is zero okay the random number r is less than or equal to 0 0.5 when it is one okay the random number is between what 0 0.5 to 0 0.8 example you consider 0 0.73 it is in the range 0 0.5 less than r less than or equal to 0 0.8 now, once again, when you consider 2, it is in the range 0 0.8 less than or equal to 1. So, using this, we just, we are going to what? Once again, define the range 0, 1 and 2. And uh, using this value, the new generated schema, what we'll do is, we'll just, we'll try to once again have a table that is the discrete variant where we have i. i varies from how many values now? That is 3. So, 1, 2, 3. Fine. Then once again take the value i divided by p. Fine. So i value is 1 divided by 3. i value is 2 divided by 3. i value is 3 divided by uh, 3. So we'll get the answer as 0 0.50, 0 0.80. That is 1. And finally, whenever it is less than or equal to 0, 5, we need to give the value as what? 0. This is the input. This is the output. Whenever it is in the range between this, it is 1. Whenever it is what 1, that is the value is what? That is 2. So finally, this is our what? Discrete variant of x. Fine. Similarly, given any other random number, you can generate one more x2 value. Fine. So this is how we will be doing it. Just consider what the range uh, where that random number actually belongs to and consider the value of x. And that gives what? The discrete random uh, uh, sorry, uh, random variant for um, which one? Uh, empirical discrete distribution. Fine. So moving to the next, we'll take up just one more small example uh, for a uniform distribution, which is discrete in nature. So once again, now with respect to the uniform distribution, the probability mass function is given as P of X equals to 1 by K where x equals to 1, 2, 3, and so on. And the CDF, the cumulative distribution is given by, okay, if x is less than 1, it is 0, fine. If 1 less than or equal to x less than 2, it is given as 1 by k, fine. So this is 1 by k. Now, once again, if it is 2 less than x uh, less than 3, it is given as 2 by k. If it is um, 3 less than or equal to x less than equal less than 4, it is given as 3 by k and so on. If it is k, then since it is starting from 0, we have k minus 1 divided by k for k minus 1 less than less than x less than 
k and finally one for k less than x and this complete cdf can be generalized and can be written similar to this so here whatever we have one divided by k two divided by k up to here can be replaced with what i divided by k fine where i less than or equal to x less than k for i value ranging from 1 to k so 0 similar x less than 1 1 k less than or equal to x now set f of x equals to r it is nothing but we will be setting the f of x equals to r solve x in terms of r since x is discrete whenever we are going to consider the discrete it is always between two value whatever the random number we are going to consider the random number we are going to check in which particular range actually this number is belonging fine so with respect to x is discrete we have i minus 1 okay i minus 1 divided by k then less than r less than or equal to i divided by k fine so we are going to consider r of i minus 1 r of i so this will be i minus 1 by k because finally we have generalized the formula what is the formula i divided by k since it is r of i minus 1 this will be i minus 1 divided by k less than r less than or equal to r i of i divided by k now so since k is common here fine so what we are doing is just we are evaluating this i minus 1 less than r into k less than or equal to i so r into k is less than or equal to i less than or equal to r k plus 1 just we are once again rearranging this fine then after that since i and k are integers and r is between 0 and 1 for the above equation to hold we can write this as what x equals to r in k just floor the value of r into k so this is how we will be using the inverse transfer technique for which type of distribution uniform distribution that is discrete in nature uh, just a small example here given the uniform distribution on 1 2 and so on up to k with probability mass function p of x equals to 1 divided by k where x equals to 1 2 and so on up to k generate the random variate for 5 random numbers so how many random numbers are given 5 random numbers are given and once again even the k value is already given so how to calculate r1 it is nothing but we need to calculate so this is something like xi equals to floor value of okay take the first random number into k so x1 equals to what is the first random number 0 0.81 0 0.81 into 10 you will get the value as 9 r2 you will get x2 as 2 x3 4 x4 6 x5 10 and these are your random variants for the given random numbers fine now come, coming to the next one geometric distribution so just we'll see what is the formula to be used uh, for uh, geometric distribution uh, using inverse transform technique so consider the geometric distribution with probability mass function what is the function p of x equals to this is p into not x it is so p into 1 minus p to the power of x uh, where this value of p is between 0 and 1. Uh, CDF is given by f of x equals to j equals to 0 to x p into 1 minus p o to the power of j. Fine. So this can be evaluated as f of x equals to 1 minus 1 minus p of x plus 1. Since we need to represent this in terms of x, that is your inverse transform technique, just solve this to represent in the form of x, that is f inverse of r, you will get the answer as x equals to, okay, log of 1 minus r divided by log of 1 minus p minus 1. Fine. So here x equals to, once again, minus p. So we are just removing this part here minus p log of n1 minus r minus 1 where this p equals to minus 1 divided by log of 1 minus p if you again substitute also you will get the same answer so this is the one that we are going to generate um, for geometric distribution in terms of x by applying what inverse transform technique so this is all about um, uh, the inverse transfer technique for discrete uh, distributions